Hi guys, it's Joanne from 15 Spatulas. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make my skinny cheddar dill biscuits. Now this recipe came about by accident. I forgot to add the butter to some biscuits I was making. And when I tasted one, I actually debated with myself about whether or not I'd actually forgotten to add the butter because I couldn't tell a difference. The biscuits were really tender and flavorful. There's enough grated cheddar cheese in here that's kind of distributed throughout the dough to keep the biscuit nice and tender. So in the bowl of my food processor here, I've got 10 ounces or two cups of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna add four teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of sugar, and then for our flavorings, we're gonna do a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning, and half a teaspoon of salt. And we're just gonna pulse this together to combine. Once those are combined, you're gonna add six ounces of grated sharp cheddar cheese. And I'm also gonna add two tablespoons of fresh dill that I chopped up. Sometimes to do chives, sometimes to do scallions. Lots of different options here. But we're just gonna pulse that in a couple of times. Now that our dry ingredients are all pulsed together, we're gonna dump this out into a large bowl and we're gonna add a cup of cold milk to this. I'm using skim. And what you wanna do is use a spatula to just toss around the liquid. You wanna think of this more as tossing everything around to combine rather than stirring because we don't wanna develop any gluten here. That'll make our biscuits tough. Once everything is combined, the dough is gonna be really sticky. You're gonna take a quarter cup cookie scoop and just portion out little scoops of the biscuit dough onto a silpat lined baking sheet. All right, so these are gonna go into a 450 degree oven for about 15 minutes until they're puffed up and golden brown. My skinny cheddar dill biscuits are done, so you can go ahead and give one a taste. Mmm. It is absolutely crazy that there's no butter in here because you would have no idea tasting it. And there's so much flavor in here. Mmm. So you can get this full recipe on my website, 15spatulas.com. Put a link in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you tuning in. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. I'll see you next time.